Hey guys, it's me again and I'm back with yet another video. So a couple of weeks ago, I made this tutorial called Anime Glasses in Real Life and I used this plugin called Deep Glow and Optical Glow from Red Giant to add glow to my glasses. But I also told you that you don't actually need to buy this plugin to achieve the same effect. You can do this with a given built-in free effect available in After Effects. And you asked me how to do that. So let's just get into After Effects and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so this is the animation that I made for the purpose of this tutorial. And this is how it looks with Deep Glow on. Pretty cool, right? Let's turn Deep Glow off and let's discuss how we can do it in other ways. So there are two ways that you can replicate the same Deep Glow effect in After Effects. The first way is that you download a script from productioncreate.com. It's a free script. It's called Production Create AE Glow Script. You install that script and you select your element layer Then you go to File, Scripts and Production Create Glow. And then you choose your settings, add your tint, so click on Glow and click on Generate. Now, when you click on Generate, it will give you this. Looks pretty cool, right? It's close to Deep Glow, but not as good. But this script does save you a lot of time. So having it handy is a nice thing. Now, moving on to the second method, we're going to use the built-in free glow effect available in After Effects to replicate the same effect. And let's see how it looks. So this is how it looks using the free default glow effect available in After Effects. Uh, let's match it again. This is deep glow and this is the free effect. It's pretty close and there is a difference of colors which can easily be changed by tweaking a few settings. Now the first thing that I did was add this VC color vibrance effect which is a free effect available on videocopilot.net. Check out the website, it has some really cool stuff. But this is really optional, you don't actually need to add it if you don't want to but I wanted a little more vibrance in the color so I use it. So first thing that you'll notice is I have three instances of glow effect applied to this layer. For the first glow effect, these are my settings. You can copy them and then tweak them as per your need because every project will require different settings and you need to tweak them. Now let's turn it on and see what it does. You can instantly notice that there is a halo around the shapes and the shape is actually starting to glow. Let's check out the second instance of glow. These are my settings for the second instance of glow. I reduce the threshold, I increase the radius and I left the intensity at one as it is. Let's see what it does. It adds more glow to your footage or uh, your element and you can see the halo is more saturated like it is in the deep glow effect. Now let's check the third instance of the glow effect. These are my settings. I've reduced the threshold even more. I've increased the radius and I've reduced the intensity by a little bit because I don't want the glow to be an overkill. And there it is. This is how I replicated the deep glow effect using the built-in effects available in After Effects. Let's move on to another project. So this is a project that I used this effect first on. So let's check it out. The composition on the left side shows you the white solid attached to the lenses and the composition on the right side shows you just the white solids so we can add effects on them. And down below you see two white solids which are actually our lenses and above them you see two adjustment layers which have our default effect and a deep glow effect on them. Let's see how it looks when we turn on the deep glow effect. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Now let's see how it looks when we do the same steps as before and create multiple instances of glow effect. Looks the same. See? And how did we achieve this? We followed the same steps, we created multiple instances of glow effect. One, two, and three. And there it is. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Drop a like down below if you liked it. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if this new angle is good enough. Also, if you keep requesting these tutorials down in the comment section below, I'll keep continuing this series. Again, thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Oof. These are my settings. I reduced the threshold. I <laughs>